Hello everyone, this is Digit D, and today, would you guys like to learn something new about this awesome video game right here that's called Axiom Verge? It's a very fun game to play, very fun, very intel- a very hard, but easy to play through. It's one of those games that's from the Metrovania game, and it's made by Thomas Haps Games Incorporated. So, let's check this game out. This is my in-depth review of Axiom Verge. Uh, this is on the Steam version. I have played the Nintendo Switch version, and I have beat the Nintendo Switch version. So, this more copy is more of just showing you guys more of the gameplay, aspect the sound the music the different areas because this game is pretty hard and it's pretty cool and it's pretty fun so they even have a speed run feature where you can just run through the game without even wor worrying about the story or any of that which is actually pretty cool so you can change the options of the game you can change the configurations you can change the language you got english you got french dutch italian i don't know what the other ones mean but you do got other languages you can change into you can change your weapon selection all that stuff so i haven't really got a chance to test this game out on pc myself but this would be my first time testing it out for you guys and this would be my first time taxing out axiom verge on the pc Axiom Verge, it's a very fun game. It's very hard and challenging. You can beat it within, I would say, if you're really good and you know what to do and you're an expert, you can beat it within an hour or so if you speed run it. But it took me for my first time playthrough because I was going through collecting everything, trying to figure out everything. It's about 10 to 12 hour game. So it's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad at all. It's not long. So let's just start. You can see where I can start a new file, new low save game. So we're going to just put it on hard, whatever, normal difficulty. But this is called Axiom Verge. You can see that it tells you what the story is at the very beginning. The Let's talk about the sections first. So let's talk about storyline for this game. The story is, it starts off as it is now. You are a lab scientist guy who starts in a, trying to figure out something. Your name is Trace. So what happens to your guy, he somehow gets, these are all spoilers, something bad happens and he gets transported to this world or his lab is like explodes. His lab just exploded. And he thinks everybody has died in the lab, but he ends up somewhere else instead. So it's like one of those games, but now you're put into the Metrovania part world of everything. So this is the Metrovania part world of the storyline the storyline is you're trying to there's a story there you just have to go to certain segments and stuff like this it's a linear based game it's not actually linear based but it's more of the story is there but the story comes from certain aspects of getting to certain areas of the certain place so you meet a certain you get to a certain room story activates you get to another room story activates you get to a certain section of this game, story activates. And that's about it. That's about as you can get as the story. You find out what happens to Trace. You find out the wondrous world of Axiom Verge and a little bit of more of its inhabitants. So that is it for the story. Let's talk about the graphics while we're playing this game. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, you can see what happened. You can see... So yeah, it tells you to get a gun. Yeah, that's the first thing you do, is get a gun. So now you can shoot, you can press up to save, all that stuff, that's the normal game mechanics. You could tell, look at the graphics of this game. They actually did a good job. They did a real good job. It's the graphics that are pretty, these are some pretty good graphics for games today. Because it's like, oh, it's bad graphics or good graphics and stuff like that. So this is the gun you get. This is the main gun of the game. But you can tell you got different items. It's made in a way it's simple, 
but it's very easy and it's really good this is the style of graphics that are really good for these type of games because they're not super hard it's 2d it's a 2d platformer that is for playstation uh xbox pc nintendo switch and and you got different stuff you can use to change your weapons and everything else so you can see you can see how the game looks and everything else how i'm changing and how i'm moving i'm actually using my one controller so you can actually see that i'm actually am playing the game no one else is playing this game and i'm not just watching someone else fucking do it uh but you can tell this is how the game looks it feels the graphics are all amazing the style the direction the enemies everything they did in this game is actually really good they took some time i mean they did a really good game i would love to make a game like this if i can make a game like this and show everybody that is one way i can show my talents and everything else because this game's it's amazing i beat the whole game in 12 hours so that's tell you something so also besides that the graphics and stuff i will give it it is a 10 for what it is but if it's like if you want super high graphics like dead cells or the others uh then it's like compared to those it'll probably be like a seven compared to those but let's talk about the music the music is great the music for this game is great it keeps you in telling the only thing i don't like about the music in this game is the weapons <laughs> you can hear the sound of the weapon shooting right but when you're fighting certain bosses in the game, it gets kind of annoying. So it's like, uh, it gets very, very, very annoying. So it's like, you're trying to get the sound right, but it's like, uh, why is it sounding like that? Why is it sounding so bad for this game, man? So it's like, the sound is bad for certain things where you're hitting certain enemies when they explode or when they die and everything else. Cause that's what happens when you when the certain sound but other than that the background stages the background music everything for this game is pretty damn good like the stages the fighting the everything else the certain areas because there's like six to seven areas in your game because you can't even go that way until you get the drill once you get the drill then you'll be able to go that way but your first task is trying to find the next path of where it goes, you can't even go that way yet until you get one of the other guns. So, it's built like the same way for the Switch, the controls and everything else. But it also feels good because I'm using a controller for this game, so it makes it feels like, Oh, his review sucks, he's actually in the game. <laughs> but yeah, this is, because this is a very fun and hard game. You can tell certain monsters do certain things. And it's pretty cool. So, I looks like I'm about to die soon anyway because of my health. Because my health is not that high. But this is the music of the game. The music is pretty darn well. It actually does really good. I would say buy the music or soundtrack for the game. And you can actually see for yourself and see how good it is. But if not, you can also try different things. So the music... I would actually give a 9 out of t like an 8 out of 10, not a 9, an 8 out of 10 for the music. Um, let's talk about gameplay mechanics. So your game gameplay mechanics come in a variety, a variety of power-ups. Power-ups for your gun, because right here you only got one gun right now. You have different tools, different tools and abilities you can get with the gun. But the only way to get those tools and abilities with the gun, you have to get past certain bosses to unlock certain things that will give you your cool things once you get past to those bosses that will give you your certain things that will give you your power up certain skills you could you're able to use and everything else looks like i'm about to die you guys i'm about to die i'm about to die I'm about to die. 
So you can see where the power-ups come from, the gameplay mechanics, because you do got jump, you do got jump. Everything is from power-ups and or items in this game. So if you want to get a new better ability, you have to find an item for it that gives you a better ability. If you want to jump, you gotta if you want to jump higher, you gotta find a new ability that allows you to jump higher. If you want a new gun, you gotta find a new bullet type. There's certain power-ups and it tells you on your items, your weapons and upgrades that you have for your weapon to make it feel like you're advancing in a little bit area. But to get certain weapons, it's certain hard, it's much harder to get certain items to get into certain locations because you don't have the certain items you need to play the game. So you can beat the game without these items, but you can play the game fully if you want to get everything else. So there's up weapon upgrades, power upgrade, health upgrades, everything is upgrades in this entire game. It's nothing but upgrades. So that is part of the gameplay mechanics here. So you gotta just, and you go up, down, left, or right. There's only four directions you go is up, down, left, or right. You only can say, you got save locations. When you die, the game does save on its own when you die. So you re, so if you get new stuff, it, you keep the stuff. So the game automatically saves and it just takes you back to the nearest save point when you die and stuff like that. So that's part of the cool gameplay mechanics. Level wise, let's talk about the overworlds of this game. The overworlds are pretty cool. I wish I had shown a little bit more of this game so I could show you different worlds, different areas part of the games and stuff like that because there's more than one different area that's part of the game. So like this gun, it can shoot off in little bits. It blows up and you just hit the button again and it does that. So let me show you what I mean. I just got this new power up and I just died just for you guys so you can show what it means. And it shows a little cool signet and boom, I'm taken back to the save point now. So you can use that as a way to speed run your game. So you die, you can get taken back. So, and it says game saved still, but then look what I have. I still got the new weapon. So I just got it, I died and I'm already back at the save point. So now you can move further on or get to a certain area you can get to because now you can. So the level mechanics are basically flat, 2D platform. You can go one direction, back, you can go back, you can go four directions. Like I said, you can go the four directions, but um, there's only different areas or diff different obstacles because of variation of certain tools or power-ups you don't have in the game. So if you don't have them, it's not gonna work, but if you do have it, it is gonna work. So, but that's what I would say for this game, for gameplay mechanics. That's what gameplay mechanics are actually really good. So I would give like a nine out of 10 of uh, level design, level design, that'd be the level design, the level making, the textures, everything about this game is really cool. I would give that a nine too, because this game is really fun. It's very fun, it's Metroid-esque. So you're in that Metroid zone and everything else so it's like you get to feel the metroid so it's a nostalgic game for you to feel it makes you feel like you want to play this game more and more and more so you can get further further on and get more stuff get more items get uh, just complete 100 percent complete the game so it's like castlevania but it's a little bit different it's a little bit different from castlevania but it's a little bit different from metroid it's a little bit different from Dead Cells. It's a little bit different from other games. Uh, Dead Cells is another game that I will be reviewing once I start playing and beat the game for you guys because I like to beat these games before I do reviews and this is one of the games I did beat because I did have a tough time. Some of the bosses are very easy. Some of the bosses are very hard. Some bosses are just tedious process to get through but once you get through it and you figure out how to play this game it's very easy. So overall, this game, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Overall, it's still a good game. The music is great. Everything about this game is fun. Axiom Verge is a really good game. It's very fun, and I would recommend it. There is, in my video description below, there will be some links in the description if you want to go buy the game on Steam or anywhere else so you can actually own this game, so you can actually play the game for yourself. There's a lot of replayability but there is some problems with this game that I don't like, uh, that I didn't like myself. It's the backtracking. There is a lot of backtracking. If you're trying to find every item and everything in the game, you will backtrack a lot. 
you will get lost a lot of trying to get to the move to progress to the next area so it doesn't make that simple but there's always going to be backtracking in all these types of games so just let so just you know if there is backtracking but they made it a little bit easier with certain with this certain room once you get one room unlocked it makes it super easy to backtrack without having to run and all the way back and forth and stuff like that so and once you get more and more and more of the abilities in this game it's pretty damn cool so i want to say thank you guys for checking out this video and guess what you guys sat through this whole video you sat through the whole thing and it's not even that long it's only like 15 to 20 minutes so i would that's pretty cool so if you want to see more videos like these and you want to check out more of my video game reviews so stay tuned i'm sorry i haven't posted anything in a long time i've just been going through some stuff so but um I want to say thank you guys for checking out this video today on Axiom Verge. And if you guys like what you see, like and subscribe to my channel. Say comments, anything. Do something to my channel. Say what's up, what's up here. But if you want to see more content like this, just stay tuned to the very end. And you get to see more stuff like this. You get to see me play this game and show it off to you guys and give you an in-depth review of this video game because i'm very insightful when it comes to video games i know what i'm talking about and i know a very lot of different things when it comes to different video games of different types so this archetypal game is really fun it's one of my favorites and stuff like that so <laughs> i hope i wasn't talking too fast for you guys but i want to say thank you guys for checking out my video today and i will see you guys in the next video